Well, 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 would you look at that? We uh, are back with another episode of the Super Mega Podcast, uh, but there's a little something different this time. Our first guest on episode, this is episode 305, and now we have our first live action guest. Is there going to be a title? John card? Films? Yo. Good to, good to be here. Thanks for having me on here, fellas. Hey, man. Thanks for coming. Honored to be your first guest. Like, what a, what an induction. This you is, know? uh, you're someone that we've, we've, I think since we started the podcast, we've had a list of people that were like, we, we want to get these people on. But in the beginning, we, you've you been know, at the top of that list. You have always been. We've written the list like 17 times, and you've always been up there. Well, I'm, so, I'm quite honored. Who else is on the list? I got to know. Joe Biden's second. Joe Biden is second, but he, his schedule is a little bit, you know, booked. Um, we'd be, we'd be trying. fine. We'd be fine with Hunter Biden right now, honestly. <laughs> All these videos from smoking crack and, you know, hookers and everything. And it's like, you know what? I think that it just shows that he's living life to his fullest. What a Chad. Absolutely. Yeah. You know? I don't, I don't give a fuck. Like, you know, live your best life, Hunter. He's, he's living his best life. Amen. And speaking of partying, <laughs> then we got a little mother effing wine over here. Are you, are you allergic to wine? <laughs> Not yet. Not oh. yet. We all, we, wait, we also have another surprise. Wait, check under your seat. Yep. Stop it. Under my, really? Oh, uh-huh. yeah. All right, what do we got here? <laughs> <laughs> well, what, what'd you find? Just a whole thing of shrimp cocktail. With cocktail yeah, sauce. got you a little shrimp cocktail. <laughs> Thought we'd go all out for this one. Are you allergic to shellfish? I'm, I'm not. Do you like shrimp? You can eat some if you want. I'm. You know what? I I had a very filling lunch, but um, oh. I. It's open to you boys. You know, if I'll you guys want some, some, sh- yeah, some shrimp, yeah, please have that. Oh, wait, I have that too. <laughs> Hey, more for me. <laughs> what, Ryan? No shrimp under your chair? N- no, we we only got two, unfortunately. <laughs> and I, or Leighton only bought two. You know, yeah. I I told him to buy shrimp for everyone. Package date the twelfth. Oh my god. <laughs> Just packed uh, two days ago. Mmm. This is definitely shrimp. Not even gonna have any cocktail sauce. Gotta, huh. That's the best part, guys. You gotta get the cocktail no sauce, man. No worries. Come on, it's like a day without sunshine right. and shrimp without the cocktail. And though. you're picking the wine. I'm picking the wine. You know what? Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I just went ahead. Uh, no, that's fine. I, would, I just want to make sure that mm, people know, like, if you chose the worst one, that's not on us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm it's, not a wine person, so and I Layton wouldn't know. chose these. He picked them out of the store, so okay. if they're bad, that's on him. I do this love, is... like, straight from Ralph's. No, that's dope. That's where you get the best shrimp. Mm. It's not bad shrimp. Really? Like, I thought this shrimp was going to be pretty bad, but it's actually pretty good shrimp. Who, who's joining me for the wine? Oh, bro. Uh, I'll... Let me finish my water. Oh, yeah, just, just give a little I'll take some wine. I got you, Ryan. Yeah. Now, these cups were cleaned out beforehand, right? After being purchased from, like, a store. That's... I, I, well, the again, dust has character. Okay. Again, Leighton, that, that, that's his job. So, man, that shrimp is the first thing I've eaten today. <laughs> Same, actually. It's not bad. Honestly. Always a good sign. It's yeah. not bad shrimp. I just don't want to, like, fill up on shrimp, you know? Oh, yeah, we have more meals planned after this. So. Oh, good, good. Well, hey, uh, cheers, boys. Cheers. I know you got water, but that's all good. Thank you, thank you for, for coming on. It is an honor to to join you guys in the Matt, Super Matt's Mega Podcast. Yourself. You got to cheers us before we can... Yeah. There we go. There it is. Now cheers, it's proper. Boy. Perfect. Slancha. Ah. Now let's get into some shenanigans. All right, mm. let's 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 get Lightly. into a little tomfoolery. Yeah, all time. right? Let's go. So, Jack. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about what you do. Oh boy. Okay. We, we didn't actually do any research before. If, if if someone like at a store, like in line, was like, "What do you do for a living?" Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What would you say? The boring answer is uh, I I do YouTube. So this is actually this June. This past June was um, that marks my 16th year on fucking YouTube. God damn. damn which dude. is uh, I don't know. It's it's not. Do you even remember like the a, day? What's that? Do you remember like the? Do you have like a day like your anniversary day of when you started? June 26. June 26th. Yeah. Okay. So oh, just, yeah. just, yeah, passed. Just happened. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you very much. It turned, yeah, it's sweet 16. I can oh my finally God. drive. Yeah, so your your 10-year anniversary was was a little two months after when we started Super Mega. We started Super Mega no shit. April 12th, 2016. 16. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh my God. I'm, I'm, my math is You started off, YouTube yeah. when I was 10. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. Jesus Christ. But I, I was, was doing, you. we were I both was, doing YouTube back then, too. I was 12. We were doing well, YouTube I was doing Google Video. I was too, and then we started doing YouTube in 2007. Wait, were you actually doing Google Video? Yeah, and then they took everything down. Oh my god! So I don't have any of my 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 classics. Matt, um, luckily, still has a lot of his older stuff. Yeah, online. I have my uh, channel called Format 24. Uh, so it was my cousin Forrest and and my channel uh, from 2007, 2008. Uh, it's got 50 videos on it. I have no access yeah. to that account anymore because the email associated with it was. Uh, 
deleted by Yahoo at some point for being inactive. So now that channel's there with all of those those videos. So yeah. R.I.P. Man, like talk about lost media. That's right up there with. Oh, it's not lost. It's still very visible. Oh, my, my I, I just I just have just no no access, you have no to, access it. to it. That's great. So love that. But I, I also just got a I found all of my like childhood tapes from 2007 uh, from my old video camera, and I just got them all digitized. So I've been going through those lately, and it's been it's been quite the trip. I saw your Twitter thread. Yeah, yeah, it's been quite so, the trip. It's fun. Any uh, any jewels? Any like moments that like really stand out? Yeah, there's there's quite a few. I've only gone through a a tape and a half so far, um, and I'm trying to like cut it together like. Make like a best of moment for my family. I'm trying to make oh. like a little thing. That's uh, but there is this this one, and I posted this clip on Twitter where I'm like pretending to be a French guy, and I drew like a mustache on. And I'm doing like a shitty French accent, uh, and when I didn't post the rest of that clip because it it shortly thereafter becomes a Chinese accent. <laughs> um, but I wasn't trying to do like a I Chinese a joke accent. Was about to be like you also did the same thing for a Chinese man. But you actually did do it. <laughs> that was a, well, no, yeah, no. But basically, I was going to escalate it a bit. <laughs> well, I, I, my my eleven uh, year old self. You were ahead of the curve. I did, yeah. <laughs> but basically, what happened was, uh, I wasn't trying to do like a Chinese guy impression. I just <laughs> was really bad at doing accents, and I sure. didn't know how to do a French accent, and it just somehow became like a that. like a very racist <laughs> Chinese impression. <laughs> And then it goes back to French. You also played, I know people who have listened know, but m maybe you don't know, you also yeah. were the star in the Jungle Book. You played Mowgli. In fifth grade, yeah, I played Mowgli in Got the Jungle good, Book. Uh, How about a, that? A spray tan to make his skin oh, tone no. They darkened dark. me, yeah. No. Oh my god. I feel like I'm fully I like abdicated from that crime, though, because I'm in fifth grade, I'm in a play, that's the the adults that are in charge it's of the art department. Fault. Yeah, that's, all, that's on them. It wasn't like super... Tan. I mean, it was it was tan. Like they, I mean, any amount is is too much. But was it a musical? Like the Disney yes. musical? Okay, it was. It was a, uh, it was the, the the musical play, The Jungle Book. Mm -hmm. and I was Mowgli, and uh, they actually wanted to put me in like a diaper too. Like they wanted me to basically just be like tan and almost naked in a diaper. But they they ended up going for some like baggy pants instead. <laughs> Prudes. But I was still shirtless. Nice. Yeah, Good. I have a DVD of it actually somewhere, <laughs> uh, but I'm not going to ever probably release that. Why not? If you came to one of our live shows in like 2019, you would have seen a picture of me from that play. <laughs> if you ever Damn. run for office, that'll be the picture. Oh, 100 percent. That's you. what they use. <laughs> My yeah. Justin Trudeau moment. Can't it was a Halloween that. party. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Seems like every uh, like politician like that has. Like, was that just common back then? Just like, uh, it's Halloween party? <laughs> Bust out the blackface. Right? Uh, yeah. It's They're a, only paying respect and homage to their favorite uh, black entertainers at the time. Yeah, what's the problem? You look uncomfortable, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> I just, like, I don't want to add like anything, the, like, you know? <laughs> it's, like what you, it's like what you do to someone who's like, if you have an Uber driver who's like oh. saying something a little bit off color, you're like, mm. Yeah. Those are the best drives. Dude, <laughs> oh, yeah. The best. On my way to Anime Expo uh, oh, last no. week, I sat up front, and the Uber driver, like, it was like a guy like my age, kind of had like a like a punk rock kind of look, mm -hmm. like a dangling earring, and he's playing like Fall Out Boy. I was like, oh, cool. I sit down, he starts talking to me. Oh, God. And, um, you know, it starts out normal, but he, and then he starts talking about like Bitcoin and stuff, and I was like, <sighs> okay. And then he just instantly is like... <sighs> You know, this is Biden's America. <laughs> and he just goes on this. You would have loved this. I know. And I was just like, oh, okay, here we go. And then I'm just like, yeah. Because I'm not going to get in a fucking political debate with my Uber driver. <laughs> you know, of course so not. I'm just like, like mm hmm. You're, you're, you're held hostage. You can't disagree with your I'm in driver. the front seat, too. It's not like I'm in the back seat. I'm sitting directly oh, next to him. No. And he's like, you know, you just got to buy some fucking land in Wyoming, Wait, man. Why are you in the front seat? Because the back seat was full. Because I rode to Anime Expo with like oh, everyone okay, else that okay, was helping yeah, film yeah, yeah. and stuff. Gotcha, gotcha. But. Yeah, dude, I've had some interesting Uber drivers. My most, I have a video of it somewhere. My most memorable was this guy named Harold, and he uh, picked me up in Hollywood one night. And it was uh, every time he'd come to a red light, he would like turn his car off and like jam a screwdriver into the gear shift and like then restart the engine because he said it saved gas or something. I don't know. And he started talking about uh, he started talking about like where to get the best uh, like pussy in Hollywood. And where was that? Yeah. I don't know. Hey, a gentleman never kisses and tells, friend, okay? Of course. But he told me where the where the best uh pussy was. Which is La Cienega. La Cienega. Okay. Do you know what that is? I I'm drawing a blank. 
I know the street, but yeah, like, oh, I don't it's, know a, where, yeah, it's a street. It's like it's like a, one of those big LA streets. I think it's like, like it. Sunset Boulevard. Yeah, apparently Hollywood the pussy Boulevard. there is not right, very that good. Could be like everything. Yeah. Santa Monica Boulevard. Right. Um, Sunset goes through like a lot of LA, not just Hollywood. And this beach boardwalk. That, not good pussy there. <laughs> Trust me. But he was talking about how he was at like a strip club. Like he would really was just divulging, and I, I didn't even like. Go, I didn't open this conversation. Like he jumped into it, um, and he told me like some very. Honestly, some stuff I can't even say on the podcast. And I was just sitting there like... It's a good driver. I was like, okay. And honestly, like, I can't say it because it's it's not even like the subject matter is is that vulgar. It's just like, it's the way he said it. Oh, really? And he used some terms that don't people don't really use anymore. And I was like, okay. And then he starts talking about how, you know, he was at the strip club. And he's like, and I was looking at, you know, this girl had a pussy out. And that shit was blowing me kisses. And I was blowing him right back. And then he said he's had sex with over 3,000 women. What was he fucking Wilt the Still? Like Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. He was like 60. His name was Harold. Um, I have a video of like recording the whole thing. And then the <laughs> other highlight was he was like, Y'all want some drugs? <laughs> He's like, I got it. Cocaine? Crack? I got it all in the car. And I was like, You have it in the hey, car? That's service. That's service. You have it in the car I right now? Tipped him. I didn't buy any drugs, unfortunately. I should have. But you did tip him well. No. Oh. Hey, have either of you? I don't tip. I've had this. You ever had the Uber driver who plays their own music? And yes. Like, yo, this is a fucking bop. Once. Yeah. Once. Okay. Yeah. yeah that's the best. Like, I, way to multitask. I had an Uber driver all the way from Anaheim that was like, I do club mixes, and then played me as club mixes the entire way, and it was just like, <laughs> just like that for like forty minutes. That's a long drive. Yeah. And he pulled out a bowl and started smoking it like halfway through the ride, and I was like, okay, legend. Yeah. Those are L.A. Ubers, man. Get some fucking crazy. Uber. I uh, I don't Uber that much anymore. Uh. Because you're I, rich and you don't need to. Well, I take the helicopter. Exactly. But right. uh, I Ubered actually here today because I left my car keys in Jim's car. <laughs> but uh, I had an Uber driver. didn't say a single word. That's my favorite. That's honestly, you strive for those. Every once in a while, you get them. Worse when I'm like going to the airport, I'm like tired. Oh, and yeah. I'm like ready to like get on the flight and all of a sudden there's just... Or you're getting back. Getting I'm back. Th- that's yeah. the one. That's the one that's like... So where are you headed? I'm like, oh, no. Home. And you can't even oh, say well, what's home? home? <laughs> Dude, it's the worst. Like, I remember... Uh, I think the worst one was was I had just flown back from Japan, and I'm so jet like coming back from Asia. The jet lag is uncomprehensible, incomprehensible. It's so bad, and uh, you know I'd been up for like two days, and I'm just fuck- I get in the Uber and I'm exhausted immediately. Just probably the most talkative driver I've ever had in my life, mm. and I'm just like, mm-hmm, no, mm-hmm. no, just keeps going. Keeps How long going. is that flight by the way to Japan? It's like nine, ten hours. Okay. Mm. It's on the not, way there is 12, or on the way back is 12? No, on the way there is, like, Is it shorter or, or longer one of the, okay. I think it's shorter on the way back, but also you skip through, like, two days. But the weird thing mm. about leaving Japan is when you fly out of Japan, you get home sooner than when you left Japan. That's fucking wild. Because the, the day the switches, difference. yeah. That's so weird. Our flight to Australia was, that like was the 16, worst 16, 17 hours. Have you mm. been to Australia? I have, yeah. That's you was on cold ones. Wonderful flight. flight. Yeah. Uh, you were on cold ones, right? What, cold ones? Oh yeah, um, yeah. But um, they well, uh, they came to L.A. for that mm. one. For that That's cold when up. they like recorded a bunch with the, yeah, okay. Right, but I I, I went to Australia years ago. Uh, I'm part of this like a Kentucky tour thing. Like there's this company Kentucky, um, and it's like a touring company where they only take uh 18 year olds to 35 year olds. Like it's just like this very specific demo, um, but like That's myself us, and a bunch of other uh, YouTubers, you know, hell yeah. Uh, no, they they um had a deal like we uh. They flew a bunch of us out to, to Australia back in 2013, and uh, it was fun, but ugh, what a flight. That yeah. flight is just like a real, like, you got to stand up a couple of times in that flight, stretch them out. Well, I, I want to, we want to go to Australia soon to hang out Max and Chad, but his back, I can, permit well, him to fly. I can't even do like a four-hour flight back home right now. I got to probably wait till the end of the year to do that, and I don't know when I'll be able to Can we put you in like, like a long 12 to 16-hour flights to either Japan or... Can we put you in a coma? Like what? What, what are the like an induced coma? Put well, you on the flight when you're laying down, like if in a they stretcher. have those special seats where I can lay down. We spend twenty billion dollars. Yeah, you, you gotta be like first class. Oh but, yeah, like, first class on a seventeen hour flight is oh, probably yeah. like twenty grand. Oh, worth it. Do it. Am I not it, worth it, it, Matt? No, you're very worth it, Ryan. See, maybe fans Business can pitch. Expense. Go support our Patreon, and Ryan, then Ryan can be comfortable on his flight. But we're gonna have to save money and put you in like. <laughs> the bag. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm in the I'm in the, <laughs> the baggage area, just sitting down there. We'll just sneak you in tire. on the check bag. <laughs> yeah. I'm in the fucking uh, what's it called? The landing gear. Right, yeah. yeah, people people do that. They sneak in the landing gear and, and they then die. They yeah, usually die. Yeah, I've because there's no fucking oxygen. 
terrifying. They're like, oh, this is fine. And then it's like <laughs> negative 20 degrees and there's no oxygen. <laughs> It's like a frozen tundra. They're like, oops. It, 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 honestly, or they get crushed by the landing gear. Bro, just buy a plane ticket. You know what I'm saying? Easy. A little life hack. Yeah, life hack. You can buy a plane ticket. Life hack, uh, if you can make your way on the tarmac, the big wheels, just climb up it into a little compartment. <laughs> rarely, rarely works. Blow, blow into like a plastic bag beforehand so you have some air. <laughs> There you go. That's all you need. And just recycle it. Yeah, you flight. put the bag over your head so then you can breathe the air <laughs> inside you. Near yeah. set. Easy. Yeah. You know, I learned something today. Uh, I might have a little more shrimp. Yeah, help yourself. Are you sure you don't want any? <laughs> I'm okay, you know? Maybe after a few hours yeah, when it's man, nice and warm. Look at this. Got a little lemon here. Mm. That's actually quite a treat. That looks delicious, Matt. And I know the audio listeners can't see how amazing this is. See, that's what looks. sucks if you listen to this on Spotify or something. Yeah. You're um, missing out. No. We're supposed out. to be good with Spotify. No, I, it sucks if you listen on Apple Podcasts yeah. or uh, yeah. one of those other weird third party, Recovery. like Pod Bay or whatever the fuck. Like, Spotify is pretty cool. Spotify is great. Yeah. Especially if they wanted to give us like an exclusive deal. That would be sick. For a lot of money? For a shit ton of money. Oh, let's fucking go. Eight figures? Let's go. Whoa. Boys. Yeah. That would be great. Come on now. I um, would love that. Done. I'm shooting more for 10. <laughs> for the, shoot for the stars. It's not a billion dollars. How much is 10 <laughs> so I think it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Billions nine? Something like that. See, it, it, even if you couldn't see it, at least the audio listeners do get to enjoy the sound of me smacking shrimp in my mouth. Sounds wonderful. I, some people get off on that. <sighs> yeah, someone probably just just cranked their hog to that. You know, there's, you're welcome. There's a lot of weird ASMR things on Twitch. You could just, you could honestly eat shrimp like close to the mic, and there'll probably be an audience for that. There's, there's an audience people that for just, anything. It's like most of the ASMR stuff is just right. Right. People like getting like doing that on the ear mic. Now I am a big fan of ASMR. You should are you actually? Yes, I am. I so I Odds all the way back in high school. I watched ASMR before I even knew what it was no called. Way. Odds are you fall asleep to an ASMR video of my choosing. <laughs> <laughs> Five. Three, two, one, four. four. All right, dude. Yes. Wow. Pick me out an ASMR video. I'll <laughs> okay. fall asleep. Beautiful. To it. You already no. have trouble falling asleep as it is. So Dude, it takes me like an hour to fall asleep and then <laughs> really? I can't stay asleep. Do you fall asleep quick? I yeah, I'm a quick sleeper. But like, so you you keep getting up throughout the night? Yeah, I wake up probably like seven to ten times a night. Matt, what the hell? Narcolepsy and insomnia, baby. Oh man, the dream team combo. No, I I my I got a sleep test. I got a sleep study done a couple years ago. So I found out I have narcolepsy, and uh, they basically like they hooked me up to. This. They said narcissism, not narcolepsy. <laughs> no, they said narcolepsy, Ryan. <laughs> it can like Zequel help at all? Like any of that shit? No, I I mean it's like basically. Tylenol PM. <laughs> that Come on, just take a little Tylenol PM. They uh, they hook me up to like all these wires and like anodes and machine. I don't even know if that's the right word, but they they hook me up to like everything. I have like things up my nose. I have things all over my scalp. I have like belts around to like measure my breathing. They had to shave him bald and shave off his eyebrows, which sucked because they did that and they're like, oh, actually, for this test, we actually just realized we don't need to put them there. So. <laughs> It was a couple weird months without eyebrows, but uh, <laughs> they also made me shave my my pubis region. Well, that's just for upkeep. I think that I think yeah. that might have been more of a personal like, come on. Uh, but yeah, basically, uh, I had to sleep in this bed all night in this like room about this size. It's like creepy room with all of these machines hooked up to me, and mm. there's just a huge security camera right there staring at me. I, I love how they give you the most uncomfortable setup, and if you're not if you're not able I know. to sleep in this setup, it's like, like yeah, you got problems. Right? It's like no, man. <laughs> This is weird as hell. Well, I thought about that. I was like, I was like, well, I'm gonna sleep worse because these sheets suck. The bed is uncomfortable, and I'm in a room with a camera you're on me. You're hooked up to a bunch of shit, dude. I'm covered in like wires and shit. You know, you're not alone. I did sleep pretty well, actually, though. Um, oh, so well, maybe I, that's your secret. I was gonna say, much to your chagrin, if they're trying to like diagnose. You, I, right? I need to be in like a very uh, uncomfortable environment to get a good night's sleep. But mm -hmm. that was just the test for uh, just like while I sleep. Then I had to wake up at 5 a.m. and take the narcolepsy test, which that was miserable because what that entails is they wake me up at 5. Uh, and they're like, all right, now just uh, stay awake for two hours. And I just have to sit there in this room, hook up these machines, awake for two hours. And then they come in and go, all right, take a 20-minute nap. I take a 20-minute nap. They wake me up two hours. Twenty minute. I did that until 7 p.m. What the fuck? So literally every two hours, I'd get a 20-minute nap, wake up. 20 minute nap, wake up. That's like and a form of torture, man. Could you browse Reddit? Uh, I didn't bring my fucking laptop. <sighs> Buddy. 
biggest Thank mistake you. of my life. But they did have a, they had a TV, like a smart TV. So I just watched YouTube. Oh. But you okay. know what sucked the worst was like, I already have a hard enough time staying awake as it is. So doing that, I'm laying in this quiet room in a bed. And that's all I have is a bed. And uh, I'm just laying there and I'm like, falling asleep mm. and it keeps happening I keep falling asleep and I kept trying to like hide it like kind of like cover my face from the camera yeah, yeah, yeah. but what I, I forgot that because my they could see my brain waves and shit right they can tell when I fall asleep so I just be like and they walk me like Matt wake up and I'm like oh my god that's a form of hell man honestly. it is it is it sucks because they uh it just sucked it like it, like there's no way I could hide sleeping because they're literally watching a machine it's like boop 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 he's like oh he's asleep now Fucking stupid. That's like communist. literal sleep deprivation. That's like. Well, that's how they test for narcolepsy. Apparently, was a. Uh, uh, they just basically look at your brain waves while you sleep, and your. They had these like uh, things that would like in REM sleep, your how your eyes vibrate. That would uh -huh. like measure that and everything. It's really expensive. Uh, I paid a lot of money just to sit in an uncomfortable room for a day or two. It's fun to find out that he's narcissistic. I know. Yeah. Shit. It doesn't take too long to figure that out. Yeah, I mean, like, you, didn't, you could have saved some money. I, I mean, told him that. This whole time, it actually was like, they were like, you have narcissism. And I'm like, damn, that's why I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> Just thinking about yourself all the time. Uh, it's Narcissism is, uh, it's crazy how there's, like, clinical narcissism. Where it's, like, it, it crosses the point of being a narcissist to, like, you're, like, mentally ill as a narcissist. It's like, you are so narcissistic that, like... You're a goofball, you know. You're fucking. Right, <laughs> that's right, how right, they. Right. That's how they say. It. Uh, Matthew, <laughs> uh, you're a bit of a goofball. That's what the tests have shown. <laughs> yeah, narcolepsy sucks though because there's no cure for it. They don't even know what causes it. It just basically like your brain. From what I understand, when you get sleepy, your brain produces like a chemical to make you go to sleep. And narcolepsy, your brain's just randomly like, let's make that chemical. It's two p.m. Let's do it. And I just have to fight through it, and then it goes away. But. They prescribe me, like, Adderall and stuff for it because that's really all they can do. Mm -hmm. But I don't like taking Adderall that much because it's, like, I don't want to become dependent on it. And then I feel like if I take it a lot, then I will feel like I can't stay awake unless I have it. And I also won't be able to get work done unless I have it. So I try to take it on, like, a few times a week. But even, like, yesterday, for example, I took Adderall. And then an hour later, I had to go home and take a nap. And I slept for, like, four hours. So, okay. so Adderall. Do, like, Monster Energy drinks work? Because I know you like to go sit before this thing. For, like, ten minutes. You know, one thing they do prescribe for narcolepsy, though, and I found this out, and uh, I've tried several medications for narcolepsy, and they haven't worked. They prescribe a medicine called Desoxin. That's the brand name. You know what the medical name is? Crack. Methamphetamine. Ooh. Uh, they close. Pre they prescribe for narcolepsy meth in pill form. What the Just fuck? over, the, like, over the counter. Wow. Or wow. I guess it's a prescription, but yeah. Is Adderall the one that's, like, a molecule off? <laughs> Amphetamine salts? Yeah, yeah. It's, like, one molecule different from meth, apparently. If you take Adderall, you can tell. You're like, oh, whoa, I'm on meth right now. Kind of. Do you have any medical problems? I, I don't. I'm very boring like that. I, uh... You don't got a cavity or two? I, I think I, I have, like, seven cavities right now. I think I used to have a cavity. I don't, I don't think I got cavities anymore. Yeah, I, I got a cavity know. right here. Yeah, hey, uh... Bazingo. Anal cavity. Um... Yeah, I don't know what what the fuck is up with me. I mean, like, I I, I got the opposite problem. There's nothing like, wrong with me. What the fuck is up with me? I can sleep anywhere, you know, but, like, like sometimes it's, like... To my Dutch. You're too well rested. Well, I could sleep yeah, like, anywhere I, too. I, like an asshole. I could sleep anywhere. I just uh, don't feel rested. I could sleep for 16 hours and wake up and feel just as tired as when I went to bed. Really? Yeah. God damn, man. It sucks. Mm. But you have no medical issues? Nothing like sensitive you know that you want to disclose on the podcast? True. I got something. I got something. Um, I can't like do energy drinks anymore. Um, so like this sucks. So when I first moved out here, like uh. It, out here, so I'm from Maryland, and I moved out here uh, to LA nice. in like 2010, and um, I just drank Red Bulls and Monsters and Rock Stars all the fucking time. Yeah, like that kept me up. Like I pulled so many all nighters. Hey, you are what videos. you drink, bro. Rock Star. Yeah, you are what you drink. Amen, buddy. That's I, why I fucking. <laughs> I've gotten into those. Lo what are they called? The 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 white monsters. Yeah, the, yeah, yeah, yeah. The white hey, devils. That's me, bro. <laughs> The white devil, dude. No, the white monster. I'm a white monster. <laughs> okay. I'm not a white devil. Well, depending on who you ask. Mm. So, like, I would just drink, like, all these drinks all the time and never think anything of it. And then uh, one day, um, after I drank, a, I think, like, a coffee monster, if you ever had one of those. Java? Yeah, those but, are not very good. Oh, I love... I I still probably would love them to this day. They're but so like, sweet. Yeah, I know. You don't like that? Like, that's why I love um, energy drinks, because they're so sweet. They just load them up with sugar and, like, guarine and all that other shit. But, like, um, 
I just noticed that my tummy started feeling a little bad. And then it just got worse and worse and worse and worse to the point where I had to call a fucking ambulance. What? Yeah, I literally took an ambulance to the hospital. Um, and, and it happened again, too. It's happened, like, twice. Um, <laughs> to the point where it's like, okay, I guess I can't drink energy drinks anymore. So I haven't had, like, a Red Bull or anything in... Fucking like eight years or something. How old like were that. you when like that first happened? Yeah, I I was uh, mid twenties, you know. So like, I gotta watch out then. No, because well, <laughs> what I've noticed is like, I I mean I've noticed it for both of us is like, you know, we started super mega. I was nineteen, you're twenty one, uh-huh. and now twenty six and twenty eight, mm-hmm. and like it's just a lot of things that like we could do when we started super mega that now is like can't do it so much anymore. Just my body's like, st- totally. uh oh, I'm yeah. enjoying naps a lot more. To see, take advantage of that. Yeah, they're lovely. Midday naps. See, yeah. I've always enjoyed naps, and I'm at a point where it, I'm like, I don't want to keep napping because it's just, it's, I feel like an old man. It's getting in the way of my life. Well, uh, cherish it. Speaking of naps, we have a bit of a nap break. Uh, yeah, we're going to take a quick nap with Jack in the other room. So um, enjoy these ads. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm going to just take five to ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple shrimp, like- maybe? You know, I'll, I'll have a, I'll have a shrimp. Have a shrimp on the go, bro. No cocktail sauce or lemon. Or two, bro. Two. Oh, yeah, oh my that? god. Holy shit. Wait, don't go to ad break yet, Luke. Make sure everyone saw that. All right, <laughs> now we can cut to ad breaks. It's officially summertime, and everybody talks about looking good for the warmer months, but few have the balls to do it. Well, it's time to nut up or shut up and take the easiest step to looking sexy this summer by using Manscaped. Manscaped's ultra smooth package makes sure you have the proper care for down there as in your balls, and then shaft, your nutsack, and, this, and the skin protecting your balls, which is the nutsack. And they're, uh, also, uh, their Boxers 2.0 gives you the perfect stage to show off the new look. These products may make you look hot, but your cleanly shaved nethers will keep you cool, and the Boxers 2.0 patented jewel pouch technology will keep your boys from turning any beach day into a swamp day. Dive headfirst into summer by joining the 5 million men worldwide who trust Manscaped and get 20% off plus free shipping by going to manscaped.com slash supermega. I use the Manscaped uh, ball trimmer and the nose hair trimmer. Uh, also, the, these new uh, Boxers 2.0, as they said, creates a, a, a magnificent canvas for you to display your cock and balls. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code supermega at manscaped.com. That's 20% off plus free shipping with the code supermega at manscaped.com. There are so few perfect summer days. Don't let hot, sweaty testicles ruin them. Stay fresh, clean, and smelling good with Manscaped. Woo! That's right. Well, I picked up the Performance Package 4.0 with the Crop Preserver and Crop Reviver. And they've got my balls feeling like they never have before. That's right, Eric. Which is that I can actually feel them. I can feel them. Yeah, there's not all that hair there anymore. Now you can feel the skin. I it's, just rub it in there. Yeah, the ladies love it this too. This one doesn't actually mention the 4.0. Oh, sorry, I just need some more wine, fellas. Yeah, uh... Does anybody need a little refill? You and me oh, both, brother. Good. Okay. Touch. I'll give you a little. You don't need too much, Matt. What's that mean? Yeah. How's that? Yeah, okay. You, you can have okay. the rest. Yeah. I'll tell you, day drinking, very little beats it. Love a little day drinking. Day drinking is the best. You know? You hmm. got wine on my pants, dude. Huh? You got wine on my damn trousers. Now you're getting wine in my ears because you're whining Shut so Shut up, much. dude! No, day drinking is one of those things that's just like, uh... You like that? I did, I did. <laughs> I can't do it that often because it's one of those things where it's like, okay, first of all, if I do it, if I do it often, I feel like an alcoholic. Second, if I yeah. do it often, day drinking's great, but like, it wrecks me for the second half of the day. Mm-hmm. I'm like, for sure. come 4 p.m., I'm like, I need to take a fucking nap. But... Always. Yeah, and I'm always down for a little day drinking. Super Mega Podcast. That's right, right baby. Yes. Yeah, when you're on the Super Mega Podcast, there's no rules. Wait, what? Did you just make a Super Mega reference? Oh, I think I did. Yeah. Holy shit. Yes. What yes, did you say? Yes. Or yes, yes, or something like that, right? I, 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 the reference was just saying Super Mega. Oh, I thought I thought he said yes, uh, yes, or I thought is that did. a thing? I, well, I, you like our vi- you watch our videos all, every <laughs> single day, twice every a day. day, yeah. Especially our older ones back from 2016. Oh, you know what's your me. favorite from those? Oh man, I really liked. Uh, <laughs> You like the Mario Maker series? I, <laughs> Which episode? No, I actually didn't like the Mario Maker series. Mm. Not, my, not my favorite. Papers, please. Uh, I, <laughs> you guys made papers? That was you? Mm-hmm. Holy yeah. shit. Whoa, yeah. guys. Legends. Yeah, we learned how to code and everything for that. <laughs> it's fucking genius. I know. Yeah. That and Chocolate Rain. I really like that one, too. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. That yeah. one was, uh, that one, that one took a couple months to make, but I'm glad it, it shows. I'm glad it resonated with people it's the way classic. it did. Yeah. Classic for a reason. How's Day's on Day doing? 
I couldn't tell you. You got all the hooks. He saw right? him once at YouTube headquarters. <laughs> Ryan walked in, saw fucking Tay Zonde. I also saw, oh, what's his name from the Young Turks? Oh, I don't know their S- name. Sank? Sank. Yeah, Sank Uger. Is that how you say it? <laughs> <laughs> they cut that out. I was, I was, I was trying to pronounce it. <laughs> I was trying to pronounce his fucking name. <laughs> you're all good. You're all good. Hey, Luke. It was not out of ill intention, <laughs> but bleep that out. Isn't that because I don't need that clip anymore? Let's go with on soon. You just said it with your full chest. Huh? <laughs> well, dude, you oh commit oh oh bleep, bleep it out. Come dude, on. I so when I said sank, I was like, is it? And in my head, I said that, and I was like, no. I mean, you were just like, the second you said it, your eyes were like, <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> How do you say it? Is it Chank? I honestly, I don't know his name. I think it's Chank. I think it's Chank. Like Hank. Like Hank, but with, with, with this, like yeah, Chet okay. Hanks combined into one name. Chank Yuger. <laughs> A chunk of Uger, things. something like that. Uger, it's like U Y G E R. I don't know. Who cares, dudes? I mean, the dudes, dude has both his names are almost slurs. Who so. cares? He sucks. He's an unfunny leftist pig. Hassan's coming on soon, dude. <laughs> you can't say that. He's not going to come on the podcast anymore. I think he's like, isn't he like Hassan's like uncle or? Yeah, he's shit? Hassan's uncle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. A small nepotism. world. Just a coincidence, right? <laughs> No, when Hassan comes on, we gotta dress exactly like him. <laughs> I, I want to like get the little tiny glasses and shit. Get like the, like the like a Thrasher like button up shirt. <laughs> we gotta give him a small tiny chair though. Yeah, oh, we thought yeah. about going to oh, IKEA and getting one of the children's chairs and making him sit in it right there. Love that. Oh, that, what a mind fuck that would be. Love that. <laughs> See, we, we bought this couch just for you, Jack. So. Yeah, no, it shows. Yeah, you got respect for me. Thank you. So you got that whole. I mean, you can lay down if you want, man. I'm thinking about it. You know, with this day drinking wine, hell yeah. Day drinking a little bit of shrimp. <laughs> shrimp and wine. Speaking of. Yeah, you know what? Hey, cheers. Mm. Oh, that was hot. That was respectful. I couldn't waste a shrimp. No, no, no. Mm. And I can't eat a shrimp without cheersing my brother. And I don't want to make me another shrimp. It's kind of wholesome. No shrimp without cocktail sauce is a day without sunshine. You could dip it in your wine. <laughs> yeah, little wine and shrimp, baby. Mm. Oh Isn't man, that, like Lady Gaga song, like shrimp and red wine. Yeah. You're fucking gagging at the wine. I'm gagging at the shrimp. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> give it, give it a few more hours under the lights. The shrimp. Gets real, you know. This was packaged two days ago, which means that this was probably caught three weeks a week ago. ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, they're ugly things, shrimp. You ever see them live? Ugly little creatures. Yeah, they yeah. um. God's mistake. Yeah, fuck. I them. thought about getting a pet shrimp. But what's stopping you? Oh, they're, 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 they're so cute. You should get one as a pet. Yeah, I got too many of those. I got three dogs at home. It's fucking awful. You I got you? two dogs yeah, right two. here. What kind of dogs do you have? They're all, um, Are they all like big, small, medium. No, they're tiny. They're uh, okay. toy American Eskimos. Just these white, fluffy things. <laughs> okay. They're uh, like, one of them will pop up. But uh, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I got to show you a picture things. of my boy. I love this thing. My big boy. Oh, I got to show you a picture of my boy, too. Let's, let's exchange your, boys. What are their names? Claw next Sunday and Chip Witch. Aww. Had a dessert on the mind. How about you? How about your boys? Mine, mine is named Lego. That's a cute dog name, Lego. I don't. They're not your default backgrounds for shame, guys. I, know, I, I gotta find mine. Home. My default background is just like a black and white like <laughs> ocean. Oh, nice little uh, Apple <laughs> wallpaper. This is my. Uh, iOS. This is my boy. I'm trying to fi- find one where he looks. Ha- he looks like a dope in most of his stuff. Aww. That's my boy. What a beautiful boy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> who is that, man? It's weird to call my, my son beautiful, but... <laughs> who is that? I can that? do that because he's my son. It's my son. <laughs> right. All right, acting like he doesn't know. <laughs> I, I, I'm public with it now, so you don't have to pretend like you don't know. Oh, anymore. that's a derpy picture. That's a nice little dopey uh, dog. Oh, Lego is the fucking best. Hey, that's a meme. I mean, it's a little too bright, you know, but... Can we get Lego up in here? I wish. Yeah. Luke just probably edited in some fucking Legos on screen. I love Legos. Luke, if you did that, that was really funny. You know, they have Luigi's Mansion uh, 3 Legos. No really? way. Mm-hmm. Yo. I saw, that, I saw it the other day at a, at a, great at a game. mall. Great game, Luigi's Mansion 3. So, oh, it's, it's great. I, I was thinking about it last night, actually. That was a quarantine I, play for, I just, for us. I, I can't get over the nostalgia of the first one, though. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I never yeah. played the second one, Dark Moon. Oh, the third one's yes, definitely the second best yeah, one. That's probably why. Third, I love Luigi's Mansion 3. That was a fun game. We played it on the channel. 
Also, uh, <sighs> I was talking to Jim like two months ago about you and Lego, and I was like, you know, Ryan just lives, you know, at home with him and him and Lego. Like, and he, dude, he loves Lego. And Jim, I guess, didn't know that you had a dog named Lego. And Jim just oh, thought no. that, like, oh, no. it was like a roommate or something. No, Jim thought that, like, oh, I, I was saying, like, it. you just live at home with a bunch of Legos, and the you get home, and Lego. all you do is just play with Legos. <laughs> and he's like, "What, really?" Like, he comes over to my place, and it's just like a bunch of different, like, the Star Wars official Lego <laughs> sets. The right, floor right. is covered in just Lego pieces everywhere. <laughs> the kits that take like three days to make, kind of shit. My yeah. carpets are like of a Lego brick that says like "Welcome." <laughs> That'd be badass. <laughs> my toilet's made out of Legos, like, all That's actually. What- yeah, that's kind of cool. Wouldn't that would be pretty sick? A fucking entire. You tell people house? about my bathroom if if my toilet was made out of. Yo, Lego. dude, Ryan's like, toilet's on. made out of Legos. It's so uncomfortable. But it's so cool. I don't know how they would work as a sealer for the water. Not great. Legos but... can. I mean, they're, you can click them twi- <laughs> click them tight, right? For the meme of it, it's worth it. Yeah, absolutely. And you get shit all over the floor every time you you shit, but. Maybe it's Legos. more of a bucket than a running water system, so people do have to scoop. I leave a cup so they can scoop out their stuff. Right, right, and the scoops made out of Legos. Maybe too, yeah. then they yeah, can, and then they I mean? can put it in the sink or the shower where it will go through the pipe system. You know the, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know the, uh, you know like the scoops at the Lego store to get like you scoop the pieces with, like that. <laughs> just like that. Yeah, uh, I mean, you just, you know, put it in the shower, shower stomp to, uh, it down. stompers and showers. Like, <laughs> Let's go. go. You know? First time I ever went on Chuckle Sandwich, uh, we had an extensive conversation about, about shit that. stomping? About stomping. It. <laughs> they called it waffle stomping. Uh, yeah, what? they do. Yeah. yeah, they do. Uh, <laughs> it was about, like, just stomping, you know, your shit down the shower. And I tried to tell them, I was like, oh, yeah, I shit in the shower. And they were, like, acting like that's so fucking weird. Do what if you, I can like? Do you, do you shit in the shower? Every chance I get, you know, when the old ball and chain's not looking. Ooh, oh yeah, uh huh. Got to be careful. My old ball and chain shits in the shower with me, so See, you know we shit on I'm each jealous. other in the shower is a prank. That's a proper relationship. You know, she'll man. be washing her hair, and then I'm like, "That's a good oh, prank." Gotcha, shit on her. That's got to be a uh, tough prank to you know. Mm, you'd be surprised, actually. This. No, you'd be surprised. Uh, with my diet, with the day drinking and the shrimp, it's right. it's more of a it's a quick squirt than a. I was gonna say, yeah, not a lot of. See, yeah, and that's why I like shit in the shower because you know it's not much waffle stomping for me. It's more of just kind of whoop and it's gone. I have shit in the thing. shower before multiple times, not on purpose, <coughs> on accident. Yes. Did you waffle stomp? No, it was. <laughs> dude, to shit on accident, it's never gonna be like a solid log. It's gonna be a like a. So you like down the sink? Not the sink, <laughs> or the toilet. Uh, sorry, the, not the toilet. The, the shower. Oh. Yes. Well, no, I, I, I just... I'm a bit drunk right okay, now. Yeah, that's good, that's good. Yeah, I'm drunk off that fucking shrimp. Hell yeah. yeah. That's so much wine. Dude, I'm talking right now in my mic. I don't know if I can drive home. <laughs> I Ubered here. Good. Ooh. Dude, dude <laughs> fuck off, man. I'm kidding. No, Try to knock it. Sorry, make I, it better. I, 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 another one. Yeah, another Thank one. Thank you. Yeah, but you I, one too? I would actually like one. There no, I was in high school and I was staying in the shower, uh, getting ready for school one morning in the shower. And, okay. And uh, I accidentally shit myself and it just kind of like, and then went down the drain. Well, high school's different. You don't have like full, when you're in high school, you don't have full bodily controls of everything Why? just yet. Jack, I've shit learning. myself as an adult more times than I shit myself as a kid. Really? One one time at the Game Grumps also office talk. and I had to go all the way home to get new boxers for him. He had to drive home and get me pants. That's a good friend. You guys are brothers. Like, that's fucking, that's really tight. And what, this was like two years after we met. We're fucking. I went for the fist bump, but. but Well, we're talking about brothers. Can you give a fist bump? Thank you. There you go. Dude, that's cool. I like that. See where it's like, oh, dude, let's double fist bump. You get this, I'll get that. Makes me feel bad for taking mine away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You made up for it now. Ryan, it's it's like a, it's like a handhold plus fist bump. You got to bump me here, I'll bump you there. Ready? That's sick. What the fuck? Patent that. That's sick right there. Isn't that sick? Y'all can't steal that. And yeah. if we see any gifts of people, do, well, super mega fans don't have friends. So. Yes, but if someone you know were to pay someone to do it with them for a video, that wouldn't be very funny. <laughs> Dude, imagine the people just listening to that and they couldn't see it. Man, you guys. Oh, are that is true. Fucking losers. Well, then they'll have to guess what it was. I like know. how we said there wouldn't be too much visual gag- uh, gag- <laughs> gaggedry. <laughs> <laughs> visual gaggedry. Well, uh, I mean, there's, I mean, we've we, we've kept it like we haven't done like a ton of visual things. There are there are there's always visual things in the podcast, even when we were recording it just audio. But now people can see it. Yeah, it's the only difference. They they it's like they Luke Luke should just censor out every time we fist bump so audio listeners don't get jealous. <laughs> they he literally just puts up a little black screen, a little black box to cover it up. <laughs> so it's fair for everybody. I'm censor speaking into shit. my mic right now, and literally it's just wine and shrimp bouncing back at me, and it's awful. That's. I can't. Like I, I, all I smell is shrimp. And Imagine going oh. in for a kiss with someone on like a wine and shrimp date. You know, a wine and shrimp date. <laughs> yeah, I took this bitch on a wine and shrimp date recently. <laughs> this bitch. 
<laughs> How'd you know your mother's nickname? Yeah, shut- <laughs> I'm going to go slapping you went out for a high five. <laughs> like, oh, we're friends. Yeah, Why man. would I expect you would assault me? I never. Oh, no. dude. You knocked my phone over. Dude, Jim won't stop giving me shit because I can't dap. My stepdad? Yeah. Uh, every time I try to dap, he's like, dude, you fucking suck at it. And it's true. Because like every time I try to just like. I don't care. That was, bad. That was yeah, nice and clean. Oh, you know what? I can't do it either. I, I thought you were saying I, dab. No, I'm dab. I'm I'm so bad at dapping, and I've embarrassed myself dapping? so many stick, times. Stick to a hug, or like a simple, just like one, you know, this. <laughs> hey, man, that's it. Or you know, if you want to get real fancy, there's dude, there's so many fancy. variations, and when someone goes in for one, I don't know what they're going for. Just ben gets like, me with that shit all the time. Ben fucking Ben Beal, famous rapper. Who? Ben Beetle? Yeah. Ben Beal. Yeah. <laughs> ben, ben Beetle. Beetle. <laughs> He, yo, he listens to every episode of the podcast now, so he's gonna hear us talking ben about Beetle him, does. and he's gonna go. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he laughs. He does. He's... <laughs> That's like a rich, successful laugh kind of thing. He's Absolutely. a rich, successful man. Yeah, see, so see, attracts, it fits. Well, he pretends he's rich. <laughs> he's daddy's money. He's what? an industry plant. He's a sugar daddy. Mm. Mm-hmm. He's two of them actually. <laughs> Damn, dude. I know. He actually recently uh, went out on a boat with one of them. It was cool. He sent me a, a picture of it. <laughs> just, just, just thinking of Ben Beal all cheeked up on a fucking <laughs> on a rich yacht, like a little bit like sunscreen he has on such his a nose. Cute, like very innocent face. Oh, okay, okay. He's a cute Here. boy. Yeah, yeah pull you, up Ben Beetle. Uh, I got to see <laughs> I'll show you a picture of Ben Beetle real quick. Uh, he's a he's one of our good friends. He's a rapper, a mm. white rapper. <laughs> he's like the next Macklemore, pretty much. Oh hell yeah, let's uh, go. I, I I'll be honest, I've never. I've never gotten like the hatred for Macklemore. Like I, I feel like I feel like there's a lot of see. That's a beautiful like baby face, you know, right? kind of thing. Like that's see. a very innocent face. Yeah, dude, that's such a cute picture of him. <laughs> that's in my living room. I keep saying the word beautiful. I gotta like curb beautiful, but I'm just saying I don't like know why life's beautiful. Why curb your beautiful, why stop gorgeous, yourself? Beautiful, gorgeous, pretty. You know, I need more synonyms. But it's, stunning. It's a very innocent face for like you, you wouldn't. You, you tell me white rapper, I wouldn't have uh, anticipated that. You think of some like gross dude that looks like me. You wouldn't think of like a beautiful little baby face. Grosser even. Yeah. You think of some like bleach haired, like dark Bill circle. Type of yeah. Like. like gross, man. Yeah. But yeah, I mean he's he's a sweet guy, Ben Beal. That guy, he makes good music. And it's it's like he's like, Yo, I'm Ben Beal. I'm rapping and I'm white and I'm Ben Beal. <laughs> that's a good impression. <laughs> that's that, that's like, what he sounds like, honestly. That was his most recent release. I'm surprised you remember the lyrics. He dropped <laughs> it last night, yeah. I pre saved it, so I listened to it like twenty times. I'm gonna have to Google Mr. Beetle. Let's go. So, uh, Jack, what have you been up to lately, man? I've been up to a lot, actually. I got a lot on my plate, and I'm just gonna, like, I'm just gonna trauma dump on you. Yeah, you have no shrimp on your plate, though. We're here for it. You might want a few shrimps for this. Uh, (laughs) yeah, crack some more wine, brother. I'm I'm about out. This bottle looks fun. All right, what is that? Is that the is that a Sauv Blanc? What are we going? Where, where uh, wait, that's a celebrity's wine. Actually, this is a Sa- 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 Sauvignon Blanc. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Those Sav- are, those Sauvignon Blanc. That's what this one was too. Look, the look, at, or look the decoy. The wait, is look this how cool? That looks. I'm pretty sure this is a celebrity's wine. Ooh, really? Yeah. No way. Yeah, I've had that bottle before. It, uh, it slaps. It yeah, slaps. dude. They, wait, take a guess what celebrity's wine this is. Martin Shkreli. I was gonna say <laughs> that's a good guess. I was gonna say something boring like Martha Stewart, but I I, I like Screlly. That's answer, answer okay. better. Okay, Martha Stewart, yeah. Martin Screlly. What do you think it is? Uh, um, it's not Ben Beal. <laughs> Hold on, I, I, I know this it, is a celebrity wine. I want to take a I want to take a luscious gulp of this shit. Kyle Rittenhouse. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hold on a second. It comes in a like a bottle shaped like an AR fifteen. <laughs> Oh my god, what a goofball. Um, this is uh we'll, we'll cut to whatever you're not laughing at those jokes. You'll just be straight faced. <laughs> <laughs> we'll cut in. Well, he's not la- Yeah, okay. He's we'll not laughing. There you go. He's not laughing because to show that you're disapproving of yeah, the joke. I like that. There you go. He's a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a written he's a written head. He's a staunch written head, so that's why it's why he's <laughs> Bro, I swear that this is a celebrity's wine. Are you lying? I might be lying. Okay, fine. I'm lying. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh fuck! You guys, written heads over here. I need, I need a knife or something. Uh, I'm gonna go open this up. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna go find a knife. Y'all talk about whatever you want to talk about. Let's okay. just let's or talk about super talk mega about NASCAR. Let's play. Oh, there you go. That finally something interesting. You can, oh. you can, you can have the NASCAR. Hat I would actually one. love the NASCAR hat. This is. This is sick. You can keep moment. it if you want. That's our uh, when we got our own NASCAR. I can't. I can't keep this. This is yours. We have like. 10,000 of them. I mean, I'll happily 
I will happily, you know what? I will walk out of here with this. No, oh, dude, you're looking fly for a white guy. That looks fucking sick. Why well, you gotta make it a white thing, man? That's fucking gross. How dare you? Dude, I'm just trying to give us more representation in the media, man. No, I, I'm a dad hat guy. Honestly. Yo, dad hats, dude. I can't do Did you like see our NASCAR? Uh, when you walked in, did you see the bumper for my NASCAR? Oh my god, I love Is that the one that's. Oh, I know. I saw the bumpers. Are they the same thing? Not it's the like, bumper we sticker. Just you? No. You know about our NASCAR thing, right? I actually don't. I heard you like talk oh, about it in brief. Yeah, so we, uh, we got it. We like we sponsored a NASCAR and an official NASCAR race, and we got to design it and everything. So it has our logo <laughs> so on cool. it. On the back of it has me and Ryan pointing and laughing. It has a quote and it says, "Yep, you just got passed." Matt Watson, Ryan McGee, rich YouTubers. <laughs> and it was, it was. I took a picture of that just so I could show Aaron. Yeah, actually. and our NASCAR crashed like right before the end of the race. He would have finished top ten if he hadn't crashed. Stop it! Yeah. Really? Uh, he there was like a, a multi car crash. They clipped him and he just whoop, crashed into the wall. It was great though. We got to go down to Charlotte. Um. Nice. We flew out there and we uh, got to go and be in the pit stop area for the whole race and watch it fucking... That's so sick. How in the world did you get in the, the opportunity of sponsoring a car in NASCAR? Uh, I think on Twitter we were just joking about like wanting like... We had this idea where we were like, what if we... Like what's... We like doing things that are just like, I guess a little out there and weird. So we're like, what's something that like other people haven't done yet? Like what if we just got a NASCAR? Because you see all these other brands with them. And then mm -hmm. someone on Twitter, this uh, other guy named Matt, hit us up and was like, hey... I work for a NASCAR. If you guys want to make this happen, we can make it happen. So then we got in a call with them, and then next thing you know, we got a fucking NASCAR. That's really funny. And uh, it was it was it was really cool. It was a fun experience. And uh, that whole trip to Charlotte was honestly the only thing that was better than the race itself was Ryan and I went to Hooters to film a vlog of us at Hooters, and then on the way out of Hooters, we got recognized by a fan who was an Uber Eats driver, and then he asked, he's like, "You guys want some weed?" And we're like, "Okay." So we got in his car. And he drove us, like, to the outskirts of Charlotte to his friend's, like, garage. Oh, you're talking about the Hooters guy. Yeah. Uh -huh. Hooters delivery driver. And we literally just spent the night hanging out with these random, like, 22-year-old dudes just smoking weed in their garage in oh. North Carolina. That's and then beautiful. afterwards... Porn in their garage? Yeah, they had porn oh, really? on the TV and were, like, going through and they're showing us all these channels. And, like, he knew about all the channels and shit. And it was fun. It was, it was great. And then, uh, then he drove us back to our hotel, which is next door to Hooters. And we're like, do you want to get some Hooters? Oh, so we went, wine. uh, we smell took him to Hooters. Wine, Amazing, right? It's just ammonia, dude. <laughs> oh my god, that was a fucking good catch, Ryan. That was a good ass catch. Oh, that's a delight. For audio listeners, good uh, year 2020. Good I year. there was a slip in the pass off, and Ryan caught the wine before oh, it really. Fuck. It was like, yeah, it was real. Uh, what do they call it? Some yellow ass wine, dude. You want some more? Um, you know, I'm still working on mine. Okay. And I'm a gentleman. I don't mix wines. Uh, of course. Thank you. So, you don't want to uh, get a tummy ache. Hey, I mix wines in my tummy. <laughs> Too soon. Okay. Not funny. I lived through that. I'm okay. Sorry. I'm sorry. It's okay, dude. I'm sorry. Was, I'm sensitive, like my tummy, about yeah. these things. Yes. I can joke about it. No. Okay. No, I was I was hoping that since it wasn't like a like an energy drink, it would have been somewhat different. But I I understand. You know what sucks? I miss. So badly the taste of Red Bull and Monster, all that shit. Oh, we can go grab you one. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, why don't you try? <laughs> Have you tried like the sugar-free Monsters, the white ones? No sugar, no calories, it's and they taste great. They're great. <laughs> so They're no, good. dude, they don't taste like, like, we don't have any cold ones. Yeah, we do. We used the other, the last Monsters we had as set dressing. <laughs> no, there's more in the fridge. Wait, really? Yes. Ooh. I'm leaving again. I just cracked one. Fuck, shit. I'm professional. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be right back. Are you sure you don't want a monster? <laughs> Tempting. Hey, you know what I want actually? What, what's that? Some ad breaks. Let's fucking go. Let's do it. You want to read the ads? Yeah. We'll keep the money, but you can read the ads. Okay. Okay, cool. All right, we're going to ad breaks, uh, and we'll be back, and Ryan will do his uh, mo white monster energy review. Thank you. Lately, I've been listening to a lot of the Super Mega Cast. Those guys are just so funny, and I can't get enough. And it's been great. One reason it's been great? Guess why? Because I'm using my Raycon wireless earbuds to listen to it. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel, and sound better than ever. With optimized gel tips for the perfect in-ear fit, these earbuds are so comfortable and they will not budge. Trust me, brother. Raycon's gives you 8 hours of playtime and a 32-hour battery life. Raycon's are priced just right. You get quality audio at half the price of other premium audio brands. It's no wonder Raycon's everyday earbuds have over 50,000 five-star reviews. Their noise isolation is fantastic. The earbud tap functions makes it super easy to use, so when I'm out and about, you know, I can still be controlling my day. I listen to the Super Megacast all the time with my Raycons. Can you take calls with the push of a button? Yep. <laughs> <laughs>
Go to buyraycon.com slash supermega today to get 15% off your Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash supermega to score 15% off. B-U-Y raycon.com slash supermega. When you're running a small business, every second counts. You can't afford to waste a single moment. So why are you still taking time out of your day to go to the post office when you could be using Stamps.com instead? Stamps.com makes mailing and shipping quick, easy, and cost-effective. Stamps.com saves you time, money, and stress. For more than 20 years, Stamps.com has been indispensable for over 1 million businesses. Stamps.com gives you access to all the post office and UPS shipping services you need right from your computer. And get discounts you can't find anywhere else, like up to 30% off USPS rates and 86% off UPS. All you need is your regular computer and printer, no special supplies or equipment. You're up and running in minutes, printing official postage for any letter, any package, anywhere you want to send it. Plus, Stamps.com seamlessly works with Shopify, Amazon, Etsy, eBay, and more. So whether you're an office sending invoices, an Etsy shop sending your products, or a warehouse shipping out orders, Stamps.com is your mailing and shipping solution. I I love using Stamps.com. I use it every day. It's so fun and wacky. Um, My favorite thing to do is send packages using it. It's very cost effective. And Matt loves it, too. Yep, I'm always sending those packages out. (laughs) Eric loves it as well. I put stamps on almost everything that I come across in my life. Hell yeah, brothers. Stop wasting time and start saving money when you use Stamps.com to mail and ship. Sign up with promo code SUPERMEGA for a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click the microphone at the top of the page, and enter code SUPERMEGA. No one likes waiting on a paycheck, especially when you got bills due. Good thing there's Chime. Now you can get your paycheck up to two days early with direct deposit. That's up to two more days to save, pay bills, and generally just feel good about your money situation. And I know you want to feel good about your money situation. I know I do, but Chime is more than just about getting paid early. It's also an award-winning mobile app, checking account, debit card, and optional savings account. I have a Chime account. I use it as a debit card, and it's actually fantastic. I love using it. It's right on my phone. Mwah! You know, that's that's what I have to say to it. I give it a big chef's kiss. So what are you waiting for? Hopefully not your paycheck. <laughs> Get started with Chime today. Applying for a free account takes less than two minutes. Get started at Chime.com slash super. That's Chime.com slash super. Banking services and debit card provided by the Bancorp Bank or Stride Bank North America. Members of FDIC. Early access to direct deposit funds depends on payer. Yay, Chime. That's epic. What was that last part? Chime's epic. Yay, Chime, it's epic. Well, welcome back, everyone. I, I noticed something before uh, we started up, and I just wanted to keep it on record. I noticed that Leighton got us three white wines for three white, white guys. <laughs> it was almost perfect. It was almost perfect. Yeah. We should have planned that out. Yeah. But how about that? I fucked it up. I mean, I mean, guys flows better with wine. It does flow better with wine, but you were the one that w- was bringing the joke in. I was the one that chose to jump in and throw myself in there. So, look, there's blame to share. Okay, I think we can agree on that. No, I think Ryan's fine. No, okay, okay. Ryan's about as fine as some white wine. There it is. Way to bring it home. Yeah, that's cheers. Oh yeah, I gotta do that. I do, I've, I do, sometimes when I do shots of people, they do that. What does that even mean? Yeah, it's just like, a, well, you, so yeah, yeah, you do. You My clink, Canadian friends do it. You slam on the table, and then you don't break eye contact. Like, it's bad luck to do that. So that's oh, I always break eye contact. I didn't know that. Can't do that. And then, then that doesn't come true or whatever. I don't like eye contact to begin with. That's true. I struggle with that, too. But, uh, you know, you got to fight it. You want a little extra? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, top me off, coach. <laughs> uh, top me off there. Oh, no. <laughs> That's gonna be a putrid combination. That's awful. I poured some of uh, my monster in Matt's white, delicious, Your sugar-free wine. monster. <laughs> my right. sugar-free monster. Oh, uh, I mean, it's not mm. the worst thing I've tasted today. <laughs> it's not the best thing you've ever tasted. No, by far. <laughs> but it's <laughs> it's all right. Yeah. Here, give me a little sip. It's honestly, come on. We'll it's the little. aftertaste that sucks. Like the nose really? is all right. It's it's the, hmm. you know, it's like it's the oh. it's it's the yeah. At it's least the, the tail end out. that's not good. It's the sweetness of the monster. Yeah, it's the monster that fucked it up. Yeah, like the the nose is nice. You know, it's got notes of uh, oak and uh, oh yeah, you got oak in there. You know, it's yeah. floral, but mm-hmm. then uh, the tail is just gasoline and. Listen, to you saying tail? What a what a perfect uh, term. Hey man, you know. I love a little tail. Hey. Why are you pussy. laughing? Do you not like pussy? 
<laughs> hate it. <laughs> what? No, nah, you guys crazy. heard it here first. John Films doesn't like pussy. <laughs> there you go. Exclusive. Me- a super mega exclusive. So you should be a fan of the recent Supreme Court ruling. <laughs> he, he was telling me before he got here how much he appreciates that. <laughs> he didn't want to talk about it on the podcast, though. He didn't want to talk about it, but he gets the time to cut to the... <laughs> I gave you a few seconds. Of that. Yeah. yeah. Um. No, he really appreciates that, though. <laughs> I can't even fucking... What? <laughs> nice uh, hat, dude. Yeah. Oh, thank you. Yeah. This whole thing. Yeah. You know, I uh, grabbed it at the super mega store, and we and we didn't address. Uh, you're you're wearing a mask. You're being responsible, and you're wearing a mask. I'm trying. I'm, why are you I'm wearing trying. a mask? Well, I'll actually tell you why I'm wearing a mask. I'm going on tour next week, and I wanted to uh, or like. Otherwise, I'd be mask free, but I'm just being super like hyper cautious before, you know, I get uh, slammed into a sprinter for um, you know eight cities across I don't know six states or something. How and, long is uh, the tour? It's it's only it's from July 21st to August 1st, so it's like a 10 day jaunt. Okay. Um, but uh, yeah, doing a doing this uh, thing called Yai Live Live. So it's basically a live version of this Twitch Hebrew. show I did, and uh, it's fun. It's like a it's a mix of uh, Jackbox type games, Cards Against Humanity. You show up and you use your phone to play and submit answers to prompts. And then we bring up winners up on stage to play against me to see if they can like be funnier than a YouTuber. It's a whole thing. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that. No chance. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, get back in the line. Wait, are tickets still on sale? As a matter of fact, as of this podcast recording, they People are. People can go get tickets right now to go see you live. You know, Matt, if you go to jacksfilmslive.com, you can grab your tickets right there. No slash? Nope. Uh, no jacksfilmslive.com jacksfilmslive.com I think that they're in for a fucking treat if they do that and I mean, how do like, you spell that? oh it's uh, jacksfilms and then live.com okay yeah. mm, Okay. Good. good 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 we're going to Texas we got three shows in Texas and three cities in Texas we're going to Washington we're going to Oregon we're going to California we're going to Arizona yeah mm. are you going to uh, Spartanburg, South Carolina? not yet mm. maybe next mm, year okay <laughs> No love for Spartanburg. <laughs> What's the deal with Spartanburg? Bro, I don't know why Spartanburg is so funny to me. <laughs> it's just it's just a city in South Carolina. But it's like it's a county. It's got as nothing well. really going okay. for it. No, it's it's such a boring ass city. But it's uh, it's gonna offend all three people living there, man. <laughs> it's actually yeah, I think it's actually a pretty populated part of South Carolina. It's just boring. It's up near Greenville. Oh, okay. It's just suburban and shit. And it's just funny because oh, it's yeah. called Spartanburg. <laughs> That's a hell of a name, honestly. I mean it rolls off the tongue. It's right My next grandparents to, used right to live next near to there. Greenville, which is it a is. good city apparently. Clemson. Now. Is Spartanburg's right by Clemson? Yes. Which uh, is, you know, in the easily Pendleton area. Pendleton, bro. Bro, I'm a fucking Pendleton, dude. dude you bro. a Pendleton head? Never stopped. <laughs> bro, dude, Pendleton pussy goes crazy. I'll tell you that right now, man. Hell yeah. Bro, Aiken pussy? <laughs> Aiken. Orangeburg? Aiken pussy has me Aiken. <laughs> God, that was good. What's your favorite small town in Maryland? Antietam? I stayed there for a week once. Oh, did you? How'd you I like did. it? I loved it. What's your favorite river in Georgia? <laughs> Was that, is that, do you have one in mind? <laughs> no. I'm asking you. Do you know the, do you know the river in Georgia? I do. Okay. <laughs> we, we came across it on tour. <laughs> it's awful. Jack, there's a, there's a river in Georgia yeah. that we found. Not, it, they changed names. They changed the name. Oh my God, what the fuck was it called? Mm. We'll show I, you. We need to show oh, you okay, on a okay. map because. Oh Christ, not good, huh? What? Yo, and uh, bro, they only changed the name like recently. How yes. like a few years ago recently? Yeah, like really? when we started Super Mega, it was still called. It's this. called Freedom Creek now. Is it really? Yes. So you can take a guess of what it was before. If I it- can. <laughs> it's in the title. It's in the headline. Oh my god! <laughs> I, I I figured. I, Do you I, see I, what I this woke culture is doing? That <laughs> change all these names now. <laughs> that that you know, cowards. I used to play by that creek when I was a little kid. Now they're taking away my memory. <laughs> Tell you what, no <laughs> right, one was hurt right. there. <laughs> woke Christ. moralists fucking changing all this, you know, trying to change history. Up we'll yours, see woke who moralists. cancels who. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> his newest video. Oh, uh, dude, his message video slaps. to message to Muslims slaps. <laughs> I woke up this morning and I just have a text from Ryan and it's just, all it is is just the thumbnail of Jordan Peterson and it just says message to Muslims. <laughs> and I was like, did you Photoshop this or did he actually release this? My favorite thing is I watched some of the video and his whole shtick is like, it's like, you know, you Muslims think that the problem is 
is is other people and Jews. <laughs> he says Jews very harshly. Yeah, no, he he's like Jews, <laughs> and then and then he's like, but really the problem is oh, from God. within. Uh, really, Muslims are the problem. Oh, Jesus, Christ. That's, that's pretty much his. But he plays that like perspective where he's like trying to be like, but I love Muslims. <laughs> yeah, oh, it's like, dude. Oh, well, God. I love them unless he used to. You know, I'm glad that he's. I'm honestly, I'm glad that he's showing his like true colors now because it was really annoying seeing him say all this shit and then people being like, "No, he's like a scholar," you know, like he's just. And then now, but it's like he's fully just thrown that away. And yeah. He's like, "No, I'm just fully like really bigoted and conservative." Mask off, yeah. yeah. So it's like it's like okay, well, yeah. He's with Daily Wire Plus. Yeah, he's with Daily Wire now. I mean, ben Shapiro said he's the most intelligent man in the country. That's a shame. <laughs> That's a shit. He does not have like he doesn't have the voice for debate either. Like my no, God. No, that's the thing, man. Like if he had like a really deep, like booming voice, maybe it'd be kind of badass. Like Andy's a crybaby. Up yours. He shows his emotions way too much. Oh, is he a, okay? Oh yeah, he <coughs> cries all the time. Isn't that very he like not lot. the mo of the uh, alt right? When he talks emotions? about depression, he goes. Oh. <laughs> he goes. Oh, I'm so sad. I have depression. Okay, cool, Jordan. Dude, he's just like. I, I watched a compilation from crying. It's just like him, he'll do like a vlog where he's talking about something, and then he'll just be like, and it's so goddamn heartbreaking. No, really? He cries a lot. I mean, uh, that's nothing wrong with crying. It's just like, I it's feel like that's very emotion. against like the whole. Yeah, no, crying's great. I love crying, but it's like, I don't know. It's Someone just... who says, you know, up yours, woke moralist, like, I, I'm surprised they, they, they show themselves crying. And it's just, not just like know, once or twice. And it's not just over like, it's not over just like sad issues. Like maybe if he was talking about like something like the Oklahoma City bombing and he starts crying, I'm like, oh, I get it. But like, what you know, it's- bombing, you sons of bitches? <laughs> <laughs> Timothy McVeigh did not deserve to be put to death. <laughs> he was trying to send a message. What happened to free speech? <laughs> Jack, Jack loves Timothy McVeigh. It's a mix of Mickey Mouse and Kermit the fucking It frog, is, yeah. You know? It is. Uh, what a good man. <laughs> <laughs> what what priority is uh, is he on getting uh, to the show? Like, what where's he on the list? Oh, he's been on three several had times. Him. Yeah, no, Ethan got That's us true. in touch with him actually, so uh, we've been in that. talks lately to get him on the show. But the woke moralist got to Ethan and he took down the episodes. Oh, I've been really trying it's to get. Shame. I've been really trying to get Stephen Crowder on. Oh yeah, yeah. a lot yeah. in common. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> like what? We both have brown hair. That's for, That's true. That's true. You both were in uh, anti-abortion Christian movies. Yep. <laughs> You're both Ryan, always strapped. Ryan made me fucking watch. I lost a What Are the Odds of Ryan, and I had to watch three movies of his choosing. And uh, oh god, what yeah, are the movies in order? Back to back, too, like so, in fuck. one sitting. So yeah. All right. So the first movie I mean, was Snapchat me as proof throughout this process. <laughs> good, good. No, I, I, and I, I didn't cheat. I watched them all. <laughs> I grabbed the movie. Oh, I was getting the movies. Do you have all the movies? No, he doesn't have the last one. This is the I best of the worst I, shit. I, I, I love can't it. Spoil it. You ever watch Red Letter Media for chance? Yes. You know? Okay. Like that's what this is making me think of. Like just introduced through the Star Wars reviews and mm -hmm. then started watching Same. Half in the Bag and then started watching everything. Yeah, that's me. <laughs> <laughs> to to save a life, look everyone has problems. <laughs> Not everyone has faith. But look who's on the cover. It's about a, a kid who shoots himself in the head at school. Steven Crowder. No, he, Wait. He, He's yeah. not the one that shoots oh my god! In the head. Sorry, I got to do a double take because he's so young. Yeah, oh, so man. so that's like a Christian movie where like this. Uh, oh, no, it's like a white savior movie too. Sure, sure. But like this, like uh, this 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 black kid shoots himself at school in the head, and then everyone's like, <gasps> but then like a Latin, Latino or a, a, another POC is in is in trouble that he has to help. I mean, he saves them. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God, I love he it. So it's basically like someone church. shoots himself in the head, and so everyone else is like, "But how can I make this about me?" Yes, but the best That's part awesome. about this is, yeah, uh, there. So like, he he gets a girlfriend, and then he gets her pregnant, right? And uh, she's like, "We've all been there." I was gonna say, she's like, "This is gonna ruin my life. I need to abort this." And he's like, "You can't do that." And then he convinces her to keep the baby. She does, and then it ends with him just like moving away to like go pursue his dreams. So it's literally like it's like fine. yeah, it's like <laughs> it's like he's like uh, I, he, like he makes her keep the baby, and then he's like, I gotta go be me, and then just, like, <laughs> leaves and pursues his dreams. And Incredible! It's, like, Incre it's awesome. You know, what dude. a Chad move! You know I know, what? but you gotta mention. So it was this movie was the first one up, right? Yes. Oh yeah, what were the other two? And the second one right after this was uh, is a movie called. I think Lord of the Rings was second, right? That was third. No, okay, Loquisha was second. Loquisha was second. What's which, Loquisha? Which is a, uh... 
<laughs> oh man, it's a movie where it's uh Can you guess from the title that it's gonna be a little it's either gonna be like not that bad or really fucking And it awful. was really fucking bad. It's yeah, basically it like it's it's written direct and stars uh this white dude. Uh and I guess he's trying to make like a social commentary thing, but oh, basically no. It's it's he's he does a really great uh, he impression an, he, of a black. He does woman. an advice Stop. segment for radio. Yeah, and then but he's on radio, and then everyone like, oh, you're so good at doing this black. Wait, black I voice. saw the trailer for this fucking thing. <laughs> yeah, so then he like a few years ago he keeps doing this voice and becomes super popular on the radio, and everyone thinks Loquisha is real. Uh, and then uh, that's the fucking movie, dude. It sucked. It was so. And our friend our friend Patrick actually like went on Wikipedia and listed himself as writer on that movie. <laughs> And it was there for like nine months on Wikipedia. <laughs> it was just like Patrick Doran was listed uh, as a writer. And then the third movie, was Lord of the Rings, was the, the third, third Lord, Lord of the, of the Rings. Rings. And I have not seen the other one. So like, I sit down, no, dude. Connor, that's fucking dope. So like, I watched this fucking bad movie. I watched the Lucretia. You know, wait, how long is this? Because it's this, 120 minutes. I checked. Okay, so that's two hours. Two hours. <laughs> All right, so two hours on this one. Why shitty movies are always like way longer than always, they need to be. Always. So Loquisha was probably you. like two hours. So yeah, like you know like naturally. And then Lord of the Rings is fucking three. <laughs> I know? had to do this. It wasn't Easy. the director's cut. Yeah, that's four. I had to do this, and I just had to get over with. So I literally spent my fucking Saturday on my couch that doing sucks. this. That's fucked. Well done. And I watch. Well I watched that. that. He procrastinated a good bit, but he finally had. No, to no. Do it. I, I watched it pretty soon after you dared me. Mm. I just want to get it over with. Mm. I gotta say, I I, I'm that. gonna be a super nerd. The third Lord of the Rings movie. Is what got me to YouTube. Like I watched that movie in theaters. <laughs> that don't give me that fucking look. What does that mean, dude? Smosh got me into YouTube. How the fuck does Lord of the Rings like fucking? <laughs> so what inspired you to become a YouTuber? Peter Jackson's third Lord of the Rings movie. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Was it Return of the King? Yeah, Return of the King. Okay. Yeah, yeah but yeah. basically, See, I, I dude, Lord I haven't seen the other ones, so I haven't seen the other ones, so I have no idea what's going on. So I sit down for this three-hour movie. And yeah. it's like wrapping up all these plot lines that I don't even know what started. It's I'm the just, third act in a long fucking movie. That's I know, and I'm sitting there, and I'm like, man, I would love this if I knew what was going on, but I have no fucking clue what's going on. Yeah, right there are now. no like, you don't know, like this character dies, like that means nothing. You're like that means nothing. Is it the second or third one that has the big spider in it? Third. Yeah. See, you saw the big. Yeah, spider. no, I saw the big spider part. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's just universal. I don't care how many Lord of the Rings movies you haven't seen. Everyone connects with the spider part. Yeah. yeah. Harry Potter also had a big spider. Sure did. Second movie. Yeah. Yeah, yeah he did. Yeah, he did. You know who else did? Charlotte. Charlotte. Dude, that web was tight. Why'd you fucking pull your? I was going for a fist a big, bump. Because it wasn't a big spider. She was massive. She's she human size in that movie. Widow. You know, she wasn't human size. Oh, she's. Like, why are you bringing race into it? Dude? <laughs> she already you, lost her husband. Why no white widow? <laughs> Honestly, dude. <laughs> <laughs> It was Black Charlotte, uh, not Black Charlotte, <laughs> God black damn it. never mind, dude. Fucking got my, hey, my brain all confused. Your next tweet, why no White Widow? <laughs> <laughs> why no White Widow? Uh, but then they might think we're talking about uh, Marvel. Yeah, they, they absolutely will think. <laughs> uh, Mega64 does this, like, oh. Rocco does this series of tweets. Oh, yeah. Every few years, like, why no White Panther? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so, like, like uh, he does videos, too, where, like, like everyone will be in the editing room and walk, I'm like, guys. And they'll be like, what? And he's like, do you hear about Black Panther? And they're like, don't. And he's like, why no White Panther? And they're like, stop. <laughs> I'm going to San Diego day after tomorrow to see Rocco. Oh, you are? I'm going to suck him off a little bit. Oh, take me with you. I love Mega 64 You can come so if much. you want. All right, I'm in. I got I, uh, Well, actually, well, you know what's funny is, uh, so they're doing like a, like a live stream thing, and he asked me if I wanted to come do like noob dude shit on it, but he needs more mm. people. Mm. And he asked for suggestions, and I actually said, Jack's Films. And he's like, oh, I love Jack's Films. So that's, if you want to come, that's not what you told me. He said, "Fuck you!" <laughs> <laughs> come on, man, you're ruining this for me. He's like one of my idols. Like I can drive if you, if you want to come. I'm He's, going on Saturday anyway, so. So here's the thing: I can't do it. You know why? I'll tell you why. Tomorrow, I'm doing a Twitch stream. I've never done this before. I'm doing like a live dating show Ooh. on Twitch. Uh, it's called Will They Won't They. Can we be on it? Fuck yeah! Uh, is it new or have you been doing it? Never done it. This okay. is brand new. Okay. Brand brand new. It's like new to the point where I don't even know it's gonna fucking work. But what we did was, like, I asked people, like, I asked for single people, um, submit this, submit your info on, like, a Discord. Are you all right there? The monster, the sugar cream oh, monster with the wine, You don't wine, like the, the monster wine combo? Have some, the monster, the wine, monster and the shrimp, it man, it's tail. fucking, but, sorry, continue about <laughs> your show. Here. No, it's like, I asked people to submit on Discord, like, if they're interested, like, you know, we need your, your, your age, pronouns, gender, genders, uh, gender, genders you're looking for, and then, like, one fun fact about yourself. And, uh, so I'm having my, my team like pair people up, play matchmaker. 
And so what I'm going to do is on tomorrow night's uh, live stream, um, I'm kind of playing, I'm playing host, I okay. guess, you know, uh, and uh, well, two at a time, we'll have these couples pop up. I give them like a, a first date question. I don't even know what the first date question is. It's going to be like randomly generated, you know, for each pair. Are the, you a convicted sex offender? Right, exactly. You know, fun first date questions like that. Get know. it out of the way. Softballs, That's, that is necessary softballs. on the first date. I agree. As someone that is a you convicted know? sex offender, I have to let people know on the first <laughs> you date. Otherwise, to. it's like, I can't get three then dates you're the in. Bad like, guy, By the way, you know? I'm on the list. You know? Right. <laughs> <laughs> we just we offenders call it the list yeah it's the list yeah. um so then they answer that and then uh I, I pull the twitch audience and say like all right how compatible do you think these guys are vote yes or no uh so they're like oh you have a 69 percent compatibility rating all right and then finally the real meat of the the stream is i ask each party if they would date the other and so they have to give like a yes or no question so it's like the real like um tense moment it's great i love know? this idea and then wash and repeat with new couples so it's like I, I love trash dating shows, so I'm just like cutting out all the filter. I've been or watching filler, a bunch all the lately. filler. Yeah, I'm and filtering out the filler. I'm sorry if I'm if I wasn't paying attention. No, no. What's are up? these are these other creators or are these just random people like off the street? Non creators. Anyone who wanted to like anyone oh, who's shit. single and okay. like wanted to submit and like all you know all preferences, any sexualities, you know. Um, people looking for a unicorn. Honestly, yeah, it's whatever. Yeah, it's all good. Okay, and like it's really like I'm doing it for We're the chaos. Like, that's the only reason I'm doing it. It's just, like, I, I want to be this Asian of chaos, and, like, there will be some... Asian of chaos? Asian of chaos? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come, Jack, oh. come on, man. <laughs> I mean, I'm a little bit Indonesian, so I could say that. <laughs> Maybe. He's also Middle Eastern. Some of the things you were saying during the ad break. <laughs> He's Palestinian, so... <laughs> I'm very surprised of which side you choose in that battle. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god, I hate you both. Listen, so I love Israel as much as the next guy, Jack, but <laughs> Jesus Christ. some of the stuff you were saying was... I, tried, I was just like a wife. Stop! Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> Enough about Israel, stop! <laughs> Enough about Israel. My mom's in Israel as we speak. <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah. She's a new boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> she is in Israel, but... In like an online dating <laughs> My mom has a new boyfriend My mom met Israel. this boyfriend through email, and now she's in Israel to go see him. <laughs> Tales all this time. No, my mom. My mom sent me a picture at like 3 a.m. where she's riding a camel, and she's like, "I'm riding a camel." I'm like that's great, Who's mom. Camel. I don't know. She's just in Israel, Come fucking on. around. Yeah, yeah, I got, I got you. I got okay, you. yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Who's here. Camille? Stop. I'm sorry. <laughs> she's on a fucking spiritual journey. I should drink a little wine before every podcast, right? Yeah, dude, I love drinking wine for the podcast. <laughs> it opens everyone up like a flower. You know, it's it's the best. Now, if I suggest it for the next one, you're not going to look at me and call me an alcoholic? What? If I suggest if we do this for the next one, you're not going to be like, Matt, you're an alcoholic. No, I only do that if you... We actually got a surprise for you, Jack. Check. check. Oh, yeah, we do. Uh, check under your chair. Check under your chair, Jack. <laughs> one last time. You already did this. Nope. There's nothing under the chair. Is there? You got to... Oh, wait, there's something. Oh, yeah, there's something. There's something. Every guest... Oh, my God. ...has to take an honorary sip out of our Hennessy. Yeah, well, that's, the, that's the Super Mega Cast Tennessee bottle. I love this. Every Great. guest takes a sip. So how many lips have been on this thing? None recently, so any germs that would be on there have, been, have are died. Oh, yeah, it's or alcohol. Or have festered there long them. enough to become something serious. That's way cooler. <laughs> also, you got to think it's alcohol, so it kills the germs when someone takes a sip. I was going to say, doesn't it, like, wouldn't it just filter itself out? Last germs? people to take a sip were me and Ryan, and that was on the first episode of the live action podcast, which was five episodes ago. So episode and then before that, I, I don't know who. Uh, that's it. No, but before that, someone took oh. a sip. Too mad. Too mad, yeah, took a sip. A lot of, George Love Clanton took a sip, right? Well, I'm, I'm honored to be in such presence. Um, well, why don't you look straight into this camera right here? Yeah. Yeah, make sure they can see the label. A, to a toast, if you will. No, it's Hennessy. Uh, it's <laughs> <laughs> a fucking dad joke. What the shit? Come on. Hey, yeah, that's good no. shit, man. That's good shit. I ain't pounding that. All right. Uh, you know, to, to, to good boys uh, here and everywhere, you know? Thank you, man. Yeah. Mm. You like it? <laughs> I do actually. That's really? Do that's, you? It's quite smooth. It's very smooth. Uh, no, it's fucking it's, awful. It's, it's Dude, smooth? I hate Hennessy. Really? If I were to I'm kill not a this, I'd be guy. A, no, no. This is. I'm just Here. Take it. Yeah. Maybe, maybe I don't remember. Were you about to take a second swig? Not, not before you. Oh, please. It's smooth. Okay. Well, maybe it's very smooth. Just take a little. Don't like chug it. You know. But like, it's it's pleasant. That looks like a big swig, buddy. <sighs> nah, nah. That was fine. <laughs> Really? I'm not, not, I don't, I'm not a big whiskey guy. I just don't guy. like alcohol big, in general that much. Okay, okay, that's fair. 
see, I like alcohol a lot, but I don't really like cognac or whiskey or bourbon. Mainly because the first time I drank to the point of getting sick was whiskey and cigars. So that, now yeah, for the so rest of my that. life, it's fucking. We just so we just got this bottle back home of a peanut butter whiskey, and just that on ice is delightful. Just a peanut little butter bit. whiskey. It's very sweet. It does taste like, like peanut, peanut butter. butter. It okay. actually does. Yeah. <sighs> and we, oh my god! <laughs> you're washing huh? Hennessy down with wine while still <laughs> tasting shrimp in my mouth. Oh, you got a lot going on. You got a factory up. In this there. is a fucking palate right here, man. Second sip, right? I'll take it. Yeah. Fuck okay. That. I mean, I'm Ubering. Let's go. Um, but, uh, yeah. You drive Uber? Yeah. Nice. I got a, a, a part-time. <laughs> I have to grind, you know? Yeah, man. Like YouTube ad revenue. Could you imagine mm-hmm. having to drive Uber or food delivery? Dude, imagine being a wage slave. Could you imagine being an NPC? <laughs> Dude, imagine working a nine to five like a fucking freak moron. <laughs> <laughs> when you could be eating shrimp and sipping Hennessy like the real ones. Yeah, when you that's could, us, by the way. That's the us, real we're the real ones. ones. And if you and if you follow my crypto plan right now, <laughs> um, I can break you out of the the wage slavery cycle you're stuck in. Ooh, okay? I saw that you have the is it is it the diamond profile picture? Hexagon. hexagon, hexagon. You have the hexagon. Yeah, so you have to buy three NFTs for that. But mm. uh, I did. Do you know. actually have to buy three for that? No, no I, you... just <laughs> okay. I bought three because you know, um, overachiever. I love... Yeah, I went. Me uh, and crypto are like this. I went to change my uh, profile picture on Twitter last night, and I clicked it, and it was like NFT. It's like oh, right really? next to there. They're it's like, like new profile picture or choose NFT. Oh god. Yeah. I wish they had default NFTs I could just choose. I know, like I want to make my I'm, picture I'm an NFT. Don't. I don't I don't want to buy an NFT though. It's but I do want the hexagon. Cloud thing. Chad made his uh profile I, picture an NFT because he actually That was so dumb. When I saw that Don't I was like, t- dude, bro. Chad's our friend. Yeah, I love Chad. Oh, he loves Chad. NFTs. Uh, Does he love NFTs? He has NFTs, yes. Yeah. He made his yeah. profile picture in an NFT. So oh, I Max, that, I can yeah. have my opinion of him. That doesn't mean I, I love him any less. Oh, no, no, I, I love, love Max and Chad. I can I can dislike NFTs and love Chad. You know what I mean? Like that's, I dislike that's NFTs. Right. I, I do own cryptocurrency. But I, I, sure. to be fair, I did buy it a while back before the hate train started, before I had done a lot of research. But now it's like I'm not going to just like get rid of it because... No, 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 no. Yeah, I get that. Yeah. I hear you. You know, it's I'm gonna an investment. I'm going to <laughs> no. It's doing great right now. Yeah, right. Bleep this one out, Luke. I was about to say it's much. It's you get it. Gonna... <laughs> 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 Wait, still be fine. <laughs> You got a lot to bleep out there, Luke. <laughs> That's fucking awesome. Luke, you oh. better fucking bleep that shit out. Luke, oh if you don't bleep... Good joke, though. That's an amazing joke. That's a great joke, <laughs> Ryan. Fuck. Oh. How, dude? <laughs> I always go to viciously fucking... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm fucking... I'm, I'm, I'm cracked out right now. We smoked a little crack during yeah. the ad break. Oh, jelly. And, mixing, mixing and you crack. didn't offer me none. You're not a crack guy. I can see it on your face. You can't assume that about me. That's Have you ever done coke me, before? Jack. I've never done coke. But, really? you know, oh, I like lying too. Hey, what's that? <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Jack, look at this face. It's the face of a man that smokes crack. You see it? I just see the face of a confident, self assured man. Selfish man? Selfish, selfish man? <laughs> self assured <laughs> and selfish. You can be both. You know what's funny is I was I was watching my videos from 2007 from yeah. my, my old videotapes. He loves watching videos of himself. Uh, well, we, we figured that out. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I have narcolepsy. But right. basically, uh, <laughs> That's what I'm I looked and like literally when I'm 11, mm-hmm. I have the exact same dark ass under eye circles and like shit. And I was like, same hairline too. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's fucked. Man's got a beautiful hairline. I'm sorry we don't have a we don't all have a juvenile hairline like you, Ryan. <laughs> Excuse me. It's you juvenile. just call me immature. That's what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> it's called a That's juvenile what I heard hairline. You're gonna take it. <laughs> if you look up juvenile hairline on Wikipedia, it has a picture of Bill Clinton because he has a very juvenile hairline. That's what you have. We'll have the same. Oh shit. Me and Bill Clinton besties, huh? Yeah, you guys got a lot in common. I was gonna say. <laughs> me too. This man's getting top in the office all the time. <laughs> So you were saying, you were saying. I was just saying, I, I've had the same dark under eye circles. And I, same with my sister. She's 15 in one of the videos. And uh, she's like 31 now. And uh, Ugh. same thing. I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, she's, I, I could see what those Watson jeans do. It's like, <laughs> ugh, gross. <laughs> you know? But yeah, I mean, people look like, just like your mom at 40. My mom's very pretty. It's my dad who's ugly. So, wow. His, his, my dad tried to actually get me to do a, a crypto. Uh, oh yeah, oh do Dale coin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, dude, I'll change my mind on crypto for that one. 
No, my dad was like, my dad called me one day. He was like, son, I was talking to our neighbor and his, he's got a friend that knows all about programming and cryptocurrency. And I was thinking like, you and Ryan could make like super mega coin. And oh then like, God, yes. we, we can like, buy in low. And yeah, he was like, he was like, <laughs> yeah. he was like, me and uh, my neighbor and stuff like, we can all buy it, you know, early uh, and then you can promote it with your fans. And I was like, are you asking me to do a fucking pump and dump scheme with my supporters? That's exactly what he's doing, yeah. Which is illegal, right? No, it's not. Really? Just frowned upon. Not it's with, not illegal. Not with crypto, because crypto, there's no regulations on it. Thank you. Right. So you can actually commit. So basically, with crypto, you can do a lot of fraudulent things so that we not illegal. Doing a pump and dump with stocks is illegal because there's the SEC and okay. the regulations. We're not talking about stocks. We're talking about crypto. Okay. A pump you and do, dump can with you do pump is, and dump with like NFT type shit? Yes. Yeah. And I mean, it's not illegal. What, I mean, isn't that do. what NFTs are? Yeah. It's it's li- oh. You will wow. not get arrested. You will not get in trouble. <laughs> For, for pump and dump. There really are no like, repercussions. It's it's just, Keemstar did it. Right Fucking Logan Paul, Jake Paul did it. Like Keemstar's I don't want I don't know. Do you want Keemstar as an enemy? Do you want Keemstar think like obsessively thinking about you twenty four seven? He said that me and no, Ryan were the best fights of the night at Creator Clash. Say that he, again? He did, yeah. When? He said you and I were the best fights of the night. Oh wow. The first two fights were really good. The rest blew. Is that what he said? <laughs> mm-hmm. He sounds said, "Idubs like, is a fucking like cuck. star." <laughs> <laughs> Jack, are you gonna do Creator Clash? No, Why? I'm not. I we be- saw you at Creator Clash in the what? hotel lobby. Has 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 <laughs> has, <laughs> has uh, his lasting, uh, I guess, mental inhibitions. Are my pupils big right now? No, uh, they're they're like. No, they're not as big as like when you were telling me before the the, the, the podcast. They're not like iris big. No, dude. At, at, like every night past six p.m., they just blow up, That's and I and then I get very uh just like weird feeling, and the left side of my body has tremors. Just the left side, though. See, that scares me from. Well, know, I'm gonna go to a neurologist. Don't like, you want to wake up in pain every day? Listen, I do. dude. I already past, do. <laughs> if you, if YouTube star Matt Watson has permanent psychological and neurological damage from this, you guys can go thank Nathan Barnett. And if now he's gonna comment on the video because I mentioned him. I guess I get out of here, to, Nathan. Go. I get. Have to, I have to blame myself for the back pain because I was just all over. No, that was your trainer pushing you. Don't don't blame him. He's a sweet man. He's a sweet little man. I he's a little him. man. Yeah. He's yeah. short, dude. I mean, yes, he is. He's very short. And you know, at five a.m. when I was getting into my ambulance at the hotel, he was outside all of a sudden, and I saw him, and he was like, "Matt," and I was like, "Oh, hey, hey," and he was like, "Do you want to go tell Ryan?" I was like, "No, I'm no." When I got in the ambulance, and then he. Kissed me hmm. on the lips. <laughs> he never kissed me. But he kissed me on the lips. I and I maybe it was like, oh, I might not ever see you again, type of thing. Probably but, a religious thing. He's very religious. I think so. Religious people like kissing younger people on the lips. Yes. Is it's it weird that like thing. this is making me horny? Like, is that weird? <laughs> Talking about religious people taking advantage of their positions of power. No, just yeah, like, that, you know, that is weird, Jack. No, <laughs> just luscious, you know, kisses on the lips between like, you know. Okay, if you if you just sectionalize it like that, then yeah, yeah, that's pretty hot. Sure, I mean, kissing is objectively hot. Thank you, that's all nice I'm saying. Nice pillowy lips. Yeah. Or thin lips that you can barely feel. So. You know, a lot of white people have incredibly thin lips. Do you that's have thin true. lips, Jack? Let me see. Uh, yeah, what do you think? Like they're nice lips. Oh, they're decent. I don't think they're thinner. I don't think they're thick. I think they're just kind of there. I I've, I've never thought about my lips. I think you have a nice upper lip for kissing. Thank you. I feel like it tucks in. Yeah, you know, you know, you've got, you've got very well. Is that is that the the geometry? <laughs> <laughs> you've got uh, lips. I've never kissed anyone before, so I'm like trying to like figure out how that. Would Ryan, look at Ryan's that. fucking luscious fucking. You've got smoochers. lips. Could you milk me? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've got lips. Greg, can you milk me? <laughs> yeah, Classic, exactly. dude. Uh, yeah, no, I. Uh, some white people have like pencil thin lips. Sure. We have some friends that have that. <laughs> sure. I think, look, I think that is kind of like a, a white person thing. No, I, no, it, that is a thing. Like, a lot of white people that don't have lips. Like how in anime, though, white people have, like, the biggest fucking lips. Yeah, dude, they just, like... <laughs> they're just circles. Just They're just, like, a... <laughs> oh, the big, like, mouth, but it's, like, a donut? Yeah. But it's, like, mm-hmm. squished together? Yeah, it's I like love that like shit. like, the white nerds. You have shit. really nice lips. Wow, thank you. Very, like, luscious... Prove it. <laughs> Prove you have nice lips. <laughs> Let's fucking go. That was really nice. You have a nice kiss. Thank and you. if you're just if you're just listening and you didn't get to see that, shame on you. Well, if I think they, I kept my eyes open. I'm sorry. I kept my eyes open too. Okay. Do it again with the eyes shut. Okay. I mean, if you want. Yeah, sure. Okay. Kind of missed that time. No, I I felt that right here. Yeah, you you, you still got my. Lip. I don't know which one I like better. You know? Jack, kiss. 
No, well, he's got to get ready for tour. I was, I'm, I was strictly would. told I'm on a no kiss, uh, you know, uh, no kiss diet. Right yeah, well, we'll have you on next time so we can please. Yeah, after August first, I'm getting... every time I kiss Ryan, I'm always pleasantly surprised at how like good of a kiss it is. It's always like a very soft, like wow. No, really? Like, yeah, you think it, I'm gonna like go. Do, do you feel my my beard? I do feel it, but like I personally don't like that. But I know a lot of people do. So, mm. and I don't like it because when my father would kiss me as a child, I'd feel his beard and it would upset me. Mm. Or when he kisses you today. <laughs> Still don't like it. It's not funny, Jack. It's actually very upsetting. Um, I don't know, something else. Not, not your bearded father kissing. Some shrimp? <laughs> no? I had my fill during the break. I'm all good. Thank you, though. But I think you should. I think it's nice and warm. Room temperature. Oh, I've had, I've had enough shrimp. Like at uh, Yamato's or Miyabi's. Yo! Oh, my God. Yo. I Vinny just Hana, motherfucker. In my mouth. Gonna make the volcano next? That was really sick. Why well, we don't have any onions, unfortunately? Shame. Shame, shame. Mm. This wine is good. Well, uh, <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gents, what a great segue. Bro. <laughs> Loving this wine. Uh, yeah, this is Jack's films. <laughs> yeah, this is just yeah. the opening. This is just a yeah, welcome, yeah, yeah. guys. We're, just, we're just getting started here. That yeah. was just early banter. Yeah, no, I, I'm well aware. <laughs> well, uh, Jack, before we go, uh, first of all, you've been a fantastic guest. It's been very lovely having you. Oh, our favorite guest so far. Oh, yes. you don't mean that. No, this has been a fantastic oh, episode. I've had do. a lot of fun. <laughs> Guys, this is great. I haven't done a no, podcast in a, in a while, so it was good to be on a, you know, a show and a talk some banner, you know? And uh, you let me bring my you let me bring my own mask, which yeah. is great. I appreciate yep. that. Thank you. Of course. We have a you know? no mask policy at the office, but we tried to get you to wear just a plain mask. But I wouldn't you and I wouldn't take it. I wouldn't I wouldn't mm -hmm. allow it. Yeah. It looks good with the hat, the super mega hat with that. It's very oh, natural. This whole thing, yeah. yeah. That's what my, my favorite, favorite dad hat. hat. It is. Where can they get that, Jack? They can get it at uh, jackfilmslive.com. If you go right now, um, you get a you get a deal. If you buy a ticket to my show, you get the hat, it comes in the mail. People can sue Jack for that one. <laughs> yeah, that is false advertising, and we can sue him as well. So you no, just so open yourself up to you a class a action assist. lawsuit. <laughs> no, where can you actually get the hat, fellas? <clears throat> oh, uh, I don't know, Jack. You just said it. So you just <laughs> open yourself up to a class action lawsuit, and let's see what happens there. <laughs> let's go. One of those commercials, like, if you were promised a hat by Jack's <laughs> films, you may if be you entitled to compensation. Make a NASCAR hat. Fucking library behind <laughs> you in the suit. <laughs> Uh, you may be entitled to compensation. And you're like standing behind him. Just like, yeah. <laughs> yep. Oh, let's fucking go. Oh. All right. Well, Jack, though, for real, though, you, you just released a, a mobile game. You, I did. You're going on tour. You know, go I ahead did. and let's, uh, let's let the people know what, what oh, they man. should go do right now, who they should go check out, what links they should go to, what mobile games they should download. Let's hear it. Well, I'll tell you, if you're, if you're in the market for a, a free video game that you can play either on your phone or... Or your god dang uh, PC on Steam. Oh, it's on PC too. It's on PC. Oh, I thought it was it's mobile. It's on Steam. Mm. It's both. It's on Steam. Yeah, check out Be Funny Now. That's Be Funny Now. Little exclamation point. It's uh, it's the free to play um party game that you can play either with just friends in private lobbies or with anyone in the world with public matchmaking. And honestly, it just takes a few seconds to hop into a match with anyone. Is there a battle pass system? There is no battle pass system because it's free <laughs> as fuck. Oh, I like that. The only microtransactions we have are purely cosmetic. Ooh, yeah. just like Sea of Thieves, my favorite game. Well, well actually, just... my second favorite game now that I've started playing your game. What? Good save. Yep. Very good save. Yeah. And I got I got a tour next week. It's the Yai Live Live Tour. We start in August of, uh, we start in Texas in August the 21st. Um, and uh, beyond that, yeah, I got a new uh, dating show on Twitch that um, probably will have started by the time this podcast goes up. This comes out next week. So. There you go. Okay, yeah. So the VOD will be coming out on YouTube at some point. It's called Will They, Won't They? And it's uh, like a fun little speed dating thing with a nice little cringy Jack Films twist. Cool. Man, it's always a slam dunk when I see Ryan and Matt. Love you guys. <laughs>